Mm. All right, so we're gonna go into it. Mm. Oh, lunch. Yep, yep. The elbows. All right, so now it's elbows versus elbows, and now they're going downstairs and going into the Tekken 4 music. Right. Both players moving around, doing well. <laughs> Julia completely in form right now. Our Salon needs to sort of pick up his game. Now he's in red right now, but he's definitely going to make something happen. Uses the rage drive successfully and launches her up. It's going to be quite a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Takes Daud into rage. Daud has to watch out and watch out he does as he takes the first round. Oh. The players moving around. Mm. Mm. Goes for the roaming three. Eh, eh. Gets the pickup. Tries to get him into the wall, and he does. Damn, comes up with the blue sparks and takes him into red. Both characters have very good elbows, so let's see what they got. Not right now, dancing, trying to keep it easy. But gets launched. And the right guess from Daoud gives him the round once again. What a heck, man. His execution. His execution is actually really good. Yeah, so both these players, like, really at the top of their game. Nice. The back turn. Mm -mm. How can he just switch a combo just for reaching wall? Well, I guess it comes with practice. I guess it comes with like sort of an understanding. Uh, that's the thing. Two. I'm talking about Dawood. Yeah, that's what it is. So, okay, so he. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's well. The way that this goes is that, um, you know, when you're playing for that long, you you sort of like you start seeing the game in a little bit of slow motion. Right? You start making stuff in your head before it actually happens. Right? You adjust yourself so much that you can make those reads if you practice and you know you keep playing it that consistently. The important thing is is that you have actual competition to go up against. And uh, here we're definitely doing the grind, and we've got some good action going on. Uh, commentary is very nice. Thank you so much, Zen Talon, for the appreciation. Really like it. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, defense needs practice, but talent as well. That's true. Uh, we have some really talented players who have made it this far, obviously. And that's why right now you're seeing them on your screen, because, you know, they've been picked to be the best. Uh, G GG Corporation, your English is off the charts. Thank you so much. Yeah, I took classes, uh, learned it quite a lot, and I got my... Uh, I got like a 94% in my O-Levels English, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. It, muscle memory sometimes it just in sync uh land games really nice way to grow that's true muscle memory however can also work against you in your favor if you practice the same combo over and over again for too long and don't you know make variations don't try to break it down then muscle memory just kicks in and you know uh, you don't get your optimization station indeed one of the best commentary from pakistan thank you so much sahib jameel i really touched by your words there are definitely you know better commentators probably out there uh i just share the stage with some of them that's all so uh what name do you go by by the way uh my name is silver fox you can definitely find out more about me by typing in the caster command in the chat uh i am a pakistani fgc commentator not a player uh, but more into commentating. Like, I just threw my first electrics yesterday. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's what it is. Uh, you, you know, happy to be here on our salon stream. I'm gonna be helping him out with it in the near future. So that's basically what it is. And though it takes it very convincingly in that last round. As we go to the sunset of this beautiful stage. Alright. Characters dancing around. Oh my goodness, launched! A risky move, but he paid off and nice work. Though converts that, oh, gets the blue sparks right at the end. Good work. 
Can't wait for real sunset, bro, to break fast. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. One hour left? Oh. All right. I hope, you know, I hope it comes early. And yeah, you know what? You definitely, uh, you, you definitely should have it. Oh, my goodness. You definitely get uh, deserve to enjoy, you know, your fast. Uh, opening your fast. And we go to the final round now. Yo, you're in Europe. All right, that makes sense. It's, uh, I don't know if it's like, uh, you know, uh, the fasts over there are longer. But I know that for sure that, you know, um, it's well-deserved and, you know, it's good. Yes, bro, it's sweet. I'm glad you're fasting there and I hope, you know, you have a very, very, uh, a very pleasant end to Ramadan. Nope, actually, as we go down near winter, it's shorter. That's true. That is true. Mm. And the one two to close it out. That's a gun that takes it zero to two against Arslan Ash. FT5. Uh how does Arslan rate his master Raven? Can you please ask him? Seven. There it is. Mm. And hey, raid got a seven out of ten, Master Raven. So there it is, Arslan rates himself as a seven out of ten. No. Decent enough, maybe not the best, but definitely getting there. Mm. He's definitely got those elbows on point, which he's been really good with. Now he's in red. Oh, he tries to go for the low, but gets punished. So this year started in March. Yeah, that's true. It started in March, and next year it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be even further. It's gonna probably start in February. No, oh. Oh, no, it's definitely gonna start. Sorry, my bad. It's gonna start in March. Yeah. Uh, does Raven have a backswing? Low. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to ask Arslan for that. Uh, I think Julia is some special class character. You can't beat Julia with just any character, even if you master Raven, for example. Okay. Well, Julia is definitely really strong, as you're seeing right now. Why a performance by the old Sekunda. What's the top five FGC there in Pakistan based on support? Uh, are you talking about players or games? Uh, well, mostly we have just mostly two games that are going on in the mainstream. That is uh, Tekken and KOF. And Street Fighter comes in at like a, you know, a bit of a distant third. We have some players who are playing pro. Oh, shout outs to Amu and Nomi Aegis of uh, Team V Slash. Both those players, really great. They were a combo breaker and uh, they did great stuff. You should definitely check out that Look Alive series. Bam! Arsalan made a good showing in the last round, but unfortunately right now he's getting taken down by the aggression of the Julia. Oh, but the launch is actually going to be in his favor. Damn. Almost gets him into red. Rage now for Daoud Sikandar. And uses the Rage Drive to push him back into the wall. Puts Arsalan in Rage now. So you gotta watch out for that Rage Drive coming out and it does. He blocks it. Bow and Arrow comes out and that's a launch punish. And it's gonna go down to the final round. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, that was... See, that's so close. Went around. Slammed. Oh, and the... <laughs> so both of them avoid getting punched in the face. But Arsalan now in red. And that was the gun that has been looking to close this out really quickly because he takes him into the wall and big blue damage and the low to close it out. Arsalan Ash versus that was the gun that is now at 0 3. And the state chain comes out. Now we go to the Middle Eastern market, the Souk. It's scary when you're at the wall and you have to guess if it's a low coming or not. Yeah, that is very scary because, you know, you guess wrong. Um, then you have to deal with, you know, two, if you guess wrong, then, you know, you're going to eat big damage. And if you guess right, then you have to make sure that you get the right move to come out. Because you don't know what's coming up next. But Arsalan sees it. Me, have to guess. Well, I guess because, you know, uh, you have your own mental game going on right now. Okay, this is what I would do or something. You sort of, like, get a feel for it. It depends on who you're playing against. And it depends on, uh, you know, 
well, what the situation is. Trade. Both push back into neutral. Ashley Julia, so yeah, makes sense as well. Yeah. See, um, matchup knowledge is good, obviously. I mean, like, you know, I, I know I'm never going to use, like, a back three against the wall because that is a really slow move to come out. But it's a good low. Oh, launched up. Bro, tell me something if I'm wrong. Oh, sure. Please go ahead. Elbows. Lark trying to push himself out of the wall. Gets it slowly but surely. Have you ever seen a Pakistani having clean talk accent as yourself? Um, actually, yes. I have seen plenty of Pakistanis having a very good accent. Uh, most of them are basically, you know, they've had some exposure to the outside. Uh, some left the US or something. Uh, but I have seen more people. I actually was friends with one who had a really good accent. Uh, unfortunately now he's in the UK and he's a doctor and he's married. So I'm never seeing him again. <laughs> oh, man. there it is. Delta Kunder was fishing for it and now he's got it and he's gonna take it to the wall. Damn. But you're almost 100% clean. Well, I try. Thank you so much. But I try and I try. Uh, the buckets using the PayPay -pay emoji. Oh, launched. Mm. It's gonna go big. Boy, damage. Well, now in red. And he's gonna be using the rage drive, maybe. Bam, bam, bam. All right, seven seconds left, and Arsalan could maybe take this one and with the elbow. There it is. Oh, wow, commentator prediction done. Mm. All right, both characters just trying to wiggle their way around. Nice. And the stop. It's a red. Rage Drive used. Oh, launched. Punished. Nice work. You see, that's the thing. You gotta be very conservative with your lows. And if you are, then it do it comes out when you when they least expect it. They don't see lows coming out, you know, and right at the end, you use it. And you know what? Most people, they, what that is what they do. They, they try to close out the round with a low. Because, you know, that's an easy, cheap shot. <laughs> Bam. Yep. Damn. Nice work. Arsalan is going to the wall. Stomped. And kicked it for good measure. Damn clutch. Yeah, that's true. Launched up now. Bam. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm. Alright, taking down 0 4. <laughs> <laughs> all right so <laughs> our son now out <laughs> with the cousin so all right so round one fight All right. Okay, everyone. So we're about to make a prediction. Please make a prediction of who is going to win. Is it going to be Daud Sekunda? Or is it going to be Arslan Ash? Let's see. Uh, is the time 21.37 there? Yes, it is, actually. But Diablo Gaming, thank you for asking. <laughs> Thank you for answering that. Arsalan seems to be enjoying Raven recently. Yeah, he's been playing it quite a lot, and he's doing pretty good with it. Okay, yeah, there you go. Now Arsalan's in red. 
Yo. There it is. Those are gonna now on match point. Fight. All right, everyone. Let's see whose predictions come out right, right now. Oh no! Sun's now in red. Gotta watch out. Ray Shrek used. Oh, Magic Pixel and the elbow to close it out. Those are gonna take it zero to five. Uh,